much. Thanks for coming out, everybody. Black Eyed Peas are here. Always a treat. Always a treat when they pop by. Yeah. Hey, Reg, Black Eyed Peas are here. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Where is the love? Um, I, you know, I think that it's probably in, uh, probably in a sausage somewhere, like a, like some form of sausage. You think someone has placed all of the love yeah. in a sausage? In a secret sausage. A secret sausage? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> OK. OK, this is, uh... Yum. Was it just me, or did it take a dark turn in everyone else's mind? Is... I, think it, I think it took a turn. I don't know if it... <laughs> You don't think it was a dark turn? That someone a... says, let's see where the love is. I think it might be in a secret sausage. <laughs> I think the way one perceives the word secret sausage is like, True. it says more about True. the person than about the secret sausage. Thank you. Thank you. Go on. Well, yeah, go on. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah. yeah. If I hear the word secret sausage, I'm like, oh, yeah, how, how can I get down with that? There's a secret sausage? I'd like one. Yeah, where is it? Hang, on no level, are you telling me, be honest, on no level does it ever make you think of a penis? Well, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, it definitely does I can't even associate a secret sausage <laughs> with it being anything remotely connected to a sausage in any way. Let, it is, it is only a penis. Let me paint, let me paint another picture for you. Let me paint, paint another picture, Let me babe. paint another picture Go for on, you. paint it up. You walk up to a sandwich counter, and they're like, OK, so, the, so how's the turkey and Swiss? Oh, it's good. OK, great, the Reuben. Yeah, the Reuben's good, but I could take one look at you and know that you're a gourmand. Can I interest you in the secret sausage? See, all I heard then was, all I heard was, do you want to see my penis? Okay. That's all I heard. That's all I heard. James. Well, look, it's that time. It's time for the news. Elusive. And, of course, the biggest story in the world today is that Queen Elizabeth was laid to rest earlier today at Windsor Castle. More than two million mourners descended upon London for her final service at Westminster Abbey, with an estimated four billion people watching live on television. Four billion viewers. Four, think about that. That's, that's, Nick, that's almost... What's that? That's almost double what we get on this show. <laughs> right? I haven't seen the most recent Paramount Plus numbers, but I think you're right. Yeah, I think you're right. I think our regular numbers are one thing. I think when you get to Paramount Plus, which has, what, seven subscribers? I think that's going to take us. <laughs> sorry, Nick. I know we like to joke, but that may have sailed a little close to the wind. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but the service was stunning. I woke up at three this morning to watch the funeral and then there, and then obviously to work out with Mark Wahlberg. Um, <laughs> multitasking, we did it together. Yeah, it was a beautiful service. It was absolutely stunning. Did you wake up, Louis? Did you get up? I did. You got up at 2.30, right? I got up at 2.30. 2.30? Yeah. Went back to bed at five? At five, yeah. Was this stunning? It was magnificent. Unbelievably moving. It's absolutely gorgeous. It was stunning. And, the, and I would say mine and Louis' bubble of love was burst by Rob Crabb when <laughs> I was having this discussion with Louis and I said, and Louis said I got up at half two in the morning to watch it and Rob said, watch what? <laughs> <laughs> Haven't spoken to him since. Moving on, in this first sit-down interview with 60 Minutes since becoming president, Joe Biden made a major announcement last night. Have a look. Is the pandemic over? The pandemic is over. We still have a problem with COVID. We're still doing a lot of work on it. Uh, it's, but the pandemic is over. You heard the president. Ow! Take off your mask. <laughs> Start making out with the person on your right. I'm joking. We're under the same testing standards we were in September 2020. <laughs> but it's not just the pandemic. Biden then announced that skinny jeans, neutral tones, and chrome nail polish are also over. Thank you, Biden. Biden should just do this with other problems. He should just, just, just declare them over and move on. Inflation, not a problem. Climate change, all good. Marvel movies, are there too many? No, find a new angle. <laughs> <laughs> 
At another point during his 60 Minutes interview last night, Biden said that he'll decide on running for re-election after the midterms, saying it's not a firm decision that he'll run again. The decision will ultimately be between Biden and his loved ones. And by loved ones, I mean the Illuminati. Read a book. <laughs> Learn how the system works. <laughs> Yeah! Yeah, I said it! Oh. Yeah, I said it! <laughs> Biden said, is it a firm decision that I run again? That remains to be seen. Now, he could be talking about the presidency, or he could just be talking about running. <laughs> Now, according to sources, if Biden decides not to run, California Governor Gavin Newsom absolutely will. And if Newsom does become president, there is no word yet on which Selling Sunset cast member would be the next governor of California. <laughs> I don't know. And finally, here's some sad news from Broadway. The Phantom of the Opera is closing on the Great White Way on February 18th after a record run of 35 years, which is annoying. I was going to go... We were going to go on the 19th, weren't we? <laughs> With a, with, I, booked, I booked six tickets just for the, the, the band and me on the 19th. Ah, what's the bloody chances? <laughs> you know what this means? Someone else is going to have to kidnap Christine and teach her how to sing. <laughs> Evan Hansen, apparently, he's going to do it. <laughs> have you seen it, Phantom of the Opera? I've seen it. Have you? Yeah. No. I would love nothing more than to watch Phantom of the Opera with you. It's great. It's 1987, so... 1987. Yeah. Softly, slowly, with <laughs> Like, that, that, that always, that got me. That got me. That would save me. But I like, you know, it's fine. Who had a bet? If anyone had a bet that Reggie Watts would sing an Andrew Lloyd Webber song from Phantom of the Opera on tonight's show, that's a big jackpot. <laughs> that, that's a secret sausage right there. That's what that is. <laughs> And that's the news. We'll be right back, everybody.